Hello, my friends. So uh, as we explore awakening to meta human, um, we also will explore God 3.0 in Metaverse 3.0. As I said, God 3.0 in Metaverse 3.0. And of course, that includes awakening beyond the conditioned human mind uh, through several technologies. And that's the goal of the consciousness studies program that I shall be launching very soon. Let's start with some very, very basic uh, ideas, uh, which I've expressed before. And um, let's see how that will uh, unfold for us. I think the best way to understand uh, both God 1.0 and God 2.0 and ultimately God 3.0, uh, sorry to use these modern terms, but this is how uh, people usually understand them. Uh, we have to explore a little bit of, you know, what humans have traditionally sought off, sought in their deepest uh, uh, longings and their deepest desires. So um, let me just read a little bit uh, for you from God, uh, from this book, The Future of God. By the way, this uh, I did a full hour on this on CNN long time ago, and with their and this book uh, was uh, <coughs> on the New York Times bestseller list. Not that matters, but you know that's an old-fashioned way of uh, staying relevant. Um, God 1.0 made in our image. So I'll just read a little bit uh, with you. Faith has become almost impossible to enforce who follows the Ten Commandments, especially on your own self. Our old model of God is being dismantled before our eyes. So God 1.0 reflected human needs, which are many and varied, and these needs took on a divine personification. So what are these needs? Number one, the need for safety, security, protection from harm. Number two, the need to accomplish and achieve. Number three, the need to bond, to form loving families and communities. Number four, the need to be understood. Number five, the need to create, discover, and explore. Number six, the need for moral guidance and inspiration. And number seven, unity, the stage beyond all needs. So um, where do we go from there? What's the next phase? Um, that has many steps as well. And sometimes no steps at all. The first connection, God experience dawns. So God is not an idea. It's an experience an idea no more. Then uh, number two, God experience transforms you. Um, and then you have a total connection. Your true self is God, divine. And this all requires uh, stages of transformation and higher states of consciousness. The deeper question here is the paradox of desire. So, you know, we have all these desires, including the desire for enlightenment or God or Allah or Brahman or whatever uh, ultimate reality is. We have that desire. So spiritual traditions tell us um, that um, we need to get rid of desire in order to find the ultimate reality. 
God. First of all, it's impossible <laughs> to get rid of desire. Uh, try it. Now, you know, uh, just right now, if I tell you, don't think of pink elephants, that's all you'll think of. So whatever desire you have, don't think of it, and you will think of it. So it is impossible to get rid of desire. Let it go. Desire um, is pure potentiality, seeking manifestation. What I meant was let go of your desire to let go of desire, because even the desire for enlightenment is a desire. Desire uh, for anything, including God, is a desire. So what is desire? Desire is pure potentiality, seeking manifestation. But the range of desire is uh, very interesting. You know, the extreme bind of desire is what we call addiction. We are so attached to the desire, we can't live without it. A, an upgrade of addiction is attachment. An upgrade of attachment is preference. And uh, upgrade of preference is intention. without attachment. Upgrade of intention is subtle intention. And then there's the ultimate upgrade, choiceless awareness, where desire of the universe unfolds through you spontaneously. That state is flow, effortless being, spontaneous manifestation of all desires and synchronicity. So as we pursue our, um, our tutorials or whatever with consciousness studies, we will explore these ideas very deeply. Let me know if you still think this is a good idea, exploring consciousness studies. Take care.